first edition of On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection by Charles Darwin. I'm Adam Douglas and I'd uh, like to show you this copy of the first edition in the original cloth. Charles Darwin's book is one of the very few books that can be said to have really changed the way we all look at the world. It was published in London in 1859. He'd uh, only finished writing it. Um, you can see there the date where he signs it, um, October 1859, uh, at his house in Kent, down. And it was published in an edition of 1,250 copies. It had been quite well signaled in advance. Most people who cared about this knew about it. And so the book was bought up very quickly. And it was also thoroughly read. The book itself, as a piece of book production, is typical Victorian cloth binding. It's not very strong. And so there are a lot of weak points where the book can get frayed, the book can get torn, the inner hinges can get cracked, these end papers brown end papers tend to fade and fray. But this is a nice copy. We see the first owner's inscription here. Um, he bought the book in June 1860. Um, he could have bought a second edition by that time, but he chose to buy the first edition, or perhaps he dated it a little later. Um, here in the back, we see the ticket at the foot of the board of the case binder who bound the book, Edmonds and Red Remnants, and that's still there in the book. The book uh, is uh, one of John Murray's publications. We see his name here on the uh, spine, at the foot of the spine. And there are some minute variants in the cases of these books. Um, there are three different cases, but it really doesn't matter what you want to have is one of the, the cases <laughs> in, uh, in fine condition, in unrestored condition with the binding still intact. And that's what this is. Um, the book itself is quite, it's written in a sort of conversational way so that it was uh, accessible to the general public. There's not very much scientific information or displayed in it. The only thing is this single folding chart which shows the course of evolution and how that might work. Sometimes that can get torn, sometimes can be cut. Somebody uh, opening the book in a hurry can tear it, but it's in good condition here. And elsewhere, all the leaves are clean. There's no spotting or particular browning. It's an excellent copy. There are usually some adverts at the back, they vary whether they're 12 or more pages, but this copy actually doesn't have any adverts at all, but you can see there that nothing has been taken out. It's exactly as it was issued. It just happens to have been issued without adverts. They were uh, added as a sort of rather haphazard thing at the end of the production. There are full details of this copy on the Peter Harrington website where you'll find contact details if you'd like to talk to us about this book or any other book.